Okay, today we're talking about flipping mother functions. It's true. That's right. Uh, the parent function, otherwise could be known as the mother function or the father function or the parent function. In this case, we're going to say, like, for instance, x squared. There is your parabola, right? That's y equals x squared. But if I wanted that thing to flip, I would do it with a negative. Now, which way it's going to flip really will make some sense to you in a moment. But would you, to start with, would you copy this into your notes? y equals f of x. f of negative x, that's the negative on the inside. Then there's negative f of x, that's where it's on the outside. And the last thing is this one. Don't copy that part. We don't need that part down there. Okay, just the four colorful ones there. And uh, I'm going to show you how this works by uh, walking you through a little investigation on the calculator. Okay. So I'm going to get the calculator over here. And uh, we're going to use the square root function. Okay, so that's the, the original one. And to get the square root in here, I go second, square root, it's right above the x squared thing there, square root of x, and I hit enter. And I hit graph. Now, for some of you, it won't graph. If it's an is invalid dim, then that means that you had a plot on. You want to have, uh, on the y equals screen, you want to have those plots there all be not on. If a plot is on, it looks like this, and I hit enter, and now that plot is on. You see how it's darkened in? It's white writing on a black background as opposed to black writing on a white background. Anyway, so I just go up to it. If you have any of those on, hit enter and turn them off. All right, so now I have y equals square root of x. I hit graph, and if you can't see yours, it might be that your window's messed up. You can go zoom six to get the standard window. And, uh, all right, is everybody's working? Yes, sir. The X and Y axes themselves? Gotcha. There is a spot where the X and Y axis, where you can turn them on or off. I'm going to see if I can find it. All right, we figured that one out. Uh, it was under catalog. You can turn the axes on or off under catalog. Um, so just go to axes on if you want them back on. Okay, so back to this. We have our mother function. Now, if I want to move it up, down, left, or right, you've already learned that part. That would be like if I took the parent function here, y equals square root of x, and I wanted to do this to it, it would move it which way? Left 5. And then if I did this, it would go... Up one. Okay. Now, if I do a reflection, okay, a reflection is the same thing as a flip. I can flip this thing by using negatives. So I go back to y equals, leave the first one alone, go down to the next line, and make another square root, and this time throw a negative inside with it. So I'm going to go square root of, and this put, time put a negative. Notice I didn't say a minus, a negative. That, that key down there x and then I hit graph see how it flipped it it's a seagull yes very nice okay <laughs> so um, it flipped it which way it went left right now does that make sense well if there's a negative on the inside remember the inside stuff does left right stuff doesn't it make sense that it would flip it left right that's a good point, and I was going to bring that up later, but since you brought it up, you can trust it in this case, because here, if you're going to do a left-right flip, is there any other way to do it? I mean, you're either going to flip it or you're not going to flip it, and so there's no way to, like, flip it the opposite of how you'd think, because you're either going to flip it or you're not going to. So, yeah, unfortunately, it doesn't follow that rule of always not trusting the inside stuff. It's the one thing you can't, like, do in a weird way. It's you either flip it or you don't. Okay, so back to this. Remember stuff on the inside does left and right stuff, and stuff on the outside, which, by the way, is there or on the outside in the front. Stuff on the outside does up, down. All right, so the same thing applies with these negatives. If you throw a negative in, 
from the inside, it's going to flip left, right. So you want to take a wild guess what's going to happen when we put it on the outside? It's going to flip it up, down. So let's do that on our Y3 line. And go to Y equals. And on the third line, we're going to do third line. Negative on the outside first. And then square root of X. And I hit graph. And there we go. And now isn't it kind of annoying you that it's not symmetrical? You just want to put in that last one, so how are we going to do it? Negative on the inside and the outside. And it flips it both ways. So do that. Negative square root of negative x. I'm going to hit enter just because I like hitting enter. We're going to hit graph, and there it is. It completes the cycle. All right. We want to make something that looks kind of cool. Let's uh, just add in something to our graph. Uh, how could we make something that kind of fills in the up above part there? Yes, sir. Good. So let's do that on the Y5 line. On Y5, let's do X squared. X squared. And then how could we get it to fill in that kind of the bottom area down below? Negative x squared. Is the negative on the inside or the outside? outside? On the outside. Because if you put a negative on the inside, it'll do a left-right flip. And the parabola, you won't be able to tell it flipped. So negative on the outside, x squared. Now, some people ask, is that on the inside or the outside? It would be on the outside because there's like little imaginary parentheses around the x. Okay. So then I hit graph. And there we go. Could that be a spider? It has eight legs. Right? Oh, it's a windmill. I can see a windmill. Yeah, I got like for the four blades of the windmill. It's... Okay, anyway. So I think maybe you've picked up something about flipping mother functions. So we're flipping them, we're moving them, and there's uh, one thing to remember. Things in math have to be done in the right order, right? And this is something worthy of, of uh, writing down in just a moment. Um, you know what? I should tell you what to write for each of these. This one's officially, it's a left, no, no, it's not officially. It's a left, right, flip. But what's the official way to say a left, right, flip? What, do you know what a, a flip is called? Yes? Reflection is correct. And which kind of reflection? It's a reflection. Yep. Over. And if it's left, right, it's going this way, right? So it's going over which axis? The y axis. So this, I would write this down. It's a reflection over the y. Even though I like you to know that it's a left, right thing because it's happening on the inside. The left, right flip is a great way to say it. But. The official way to say that is a reflection over the Y. This one, it's an up-down flip. Yep. Uh, yes, you are correct. Over uh, X axis. And my X looks really crazy, so let's try again. X axis. And I agree, I really should use the word axis. And this one, I would just say the word both. Just because it's easier. Reflection over both. All right. Now, this is the other important thing I want you to write down. We've done left-right moves. We've done up-down moves. We've done up-down flips and left-right flips. In what order do they have to be done? Well, in a normal math problem, would you agree that things that are multiplying and dividing come before add and subtract things, right? Yep. Is this 
flipping thing? Is this kind of like a multiplying thing? Yeah, it's multiplying by what? Negative 1. So when you're multiplying by something, that should come first. So therefore, here's the official slide for it. Right there. Reflections are always done first. And translations. I would write that down. Reflect first. You've heard of look before you leap. You've probably heard of aim before you shoot. And it sort of makes some sense if you think about it, that you should reflect before you move. Like if you just up and move to another part of the country before you think about it, that'd be kind of bad. You probably should reflect a little bit, think about it before you move. <coughs> Have any of you guys had to go on a really long move, cross country kind of thing? Was it was it traumatic? Not a big deal. How old were you? You're probably still young enough. How many of you would be unhappy if your dad said tomorrow we're moving to Texas? <laughs> okay. That happened to you. Okay. <laughs> You're like, great. It's cold in Minnesota. What are you thinking? <laughs> All right. So, um, reflect before you move. And that technically it's translations, but uh, that, that doesn't make much sense to me. Uh, it's a move. That's what makes sense to me. All right, moving on. Let's say that you were given this as a test problem right here, and it's supposed to describe it and then graph it. Well, first of all, I'll describe it. It's the normal square root function, except what does that do to it? Moves it to the right, and before I would do that, though, I would do this, which is a left-right flip, so therefore it's over which axis? Over the y. And I don't want you to just try to memorize, oh, it's over the Y or over the X, because then you'll just get it wrong. I mean, if you have 50-50 chance if you're guessing if it's the Y or the X. If you think it through and say, okay, the stuff inside goes left-right, that you have to know. You have to know left-right stuff. Then you can say, oh, it's a left-right flip. Okay? So now here's the parent function for it. So if I'm going to do a left-right flip on it, I go like this. And then I also have to take it and move it where? Right one. This is my final answer. Get the idea? All right. So talk me through this next one. It's a little weirder. It says the 2 in front, and then minus, and then all that other stuff. What one thing could you do to just clean this up and make it easier to read? Yes, sir? You have, you have this fourth strong with this. You have good instincts. Move that 2 over there. Because now I can see that that minus is really a flip. And now I can just do this stuff in the right order. And my first thought is flip it up, down, right? So by the way, that would take it and go like this. That's an up, down, flip. And now I go plus one, or no, plus two and the minus one. Doesn't matter what order I do those in, by the way. So I can go right one. Uh oh, I'm moving the wrong thing there. Come on, I just want to grab the green thing. Here we go. Right one. And then, what's that plus two? Oh, up two. So there it is. Raise your hand if you think this is easy. Good. This last one. It's just the normal square root, except it's got, what? Is that moved? Is it flipped? Is it, what is that? It's up two. Because it'd just be the same as if I had a plus two at the end. All right. Moving on. Here is where they give you a moved graph, and you have to back up and figure out what the equation would be for it. Like this blue one is fairly easy. It's just been moved, right? No flipping involved. So that blue one would be, well, first of all, what's the parent, the main type of function? Square root. So I have a square root, and maybe I should do this in blue since it's a blue graph. Y equals, and there's got to be a square root. And now has it been moved? Yes. Minus 2 would make it move to the right, too. Is that correct? Yep, and then I want to go, that's 5 in case you can't see it from the back row, plus 5. There's my equation for it. Easy? Right? All right, this one's not so easy. Try the black one next, please. Everybody write me the equation for the black one in your notes. Can't do this without writing. Because I asked you to write the equation for the black one.
Wait for the green one, that's tough. We'll do the black one first. Would you agree it starts with y equals, and there's a square root with an x inside it? Okay, now i got to make my adjustments. Nope. Thank you for trying. You're thinking too hard. It's only, which way? Inside. All right, now, the negative on the inside, I'm going to have to put a negative and a parenthesis around this rest of the stuff. That's an easy thing to forget. It's only left, right. Because, see, if I take this parent one here, and then I flip it around, and that's something I can't do on my smart board. I can do a flip, but I can only do up, down. Well, actually, here, let me try this. There's a flip, left, right. Oh, yeah, but I just have to move it. There we go. See there, there's a left, right flip. And see how it looks just like that? See what I mean? All right. So, forgot, I can do left, right flips on this thing. You just have to slide them over to compensate for how it flips them. Anywho, hopefully you've got the negative on the inside now, and now you got to move it two in two different directions. Is it plus two and plus two? Mm. Plus two moved it to the left two, but the plus two on the outside would have moved it up two, so it should be a minus two. Raise your hand if you had this one right before I put it on the board. All right, good. And now try the meanie greenie. Try the green one. Engage different part of brain. Well, it's got to have a y equals. It's got to have a square root. It's got to have an x in there. All right. Now ask yourself, is there any stuff on the outside here like an up-down flip? Is there anything on the inside here like a left-right flip? Yes, there is. So I need a parenthesis. Is there anything that's moving it left or right? Left one, so I go plus one. And the last thing is it's up. I think that's eight, isn't it? Yeah. Raise your hand if you had that one right. All right. You guys are sharp. Oh, question? It's a good question. So if I didn't have a parenthesis there, then what you're asking me is, is this the same thing as that? No, it's not the same thing, is it? So you need those parentheses. All right? So don't write, try to write it like that. All right. So how about this one? This is the same exact thing, except I changed it to absolute value. But do you know where the absolute value is on your calculator? <clears throat> good. It's under the math button. And then what? <clears throat> then num. After under num, it's abs. So you have num abs because you've been doing too many abs workouts. All right. So now let's go here and go to, I'm just going to clear mine out. You don't have to clear all of them if you don't want to, but I'm going to. And... And I'm going to go up to the top one. B. And I go to math, num, abs. And I want to put an x. And I hit graph. There's the absolute value of x. It's a nice V shape. What if I flip that thing left, right? What would happen? Nope. If I flip that thing left, right, it'll be right on top of itself again. Can you picture that? It'd be almost like the thing rotates, like if you grabbed a hold of it and you spun it around and it stayed at zero, zero, but then the, each arm would like sw swing around, it'd be right on top of itself. And to demonstrate that, let's go to y equals and then just slap in a negative on the inside. How do I do that? I go over here and I hit insert. Insert is right above delete. Insert a negative. Hit graph. <coughs> Excuse me, doesn't it look exactly the same as it did before? Yeah. Now, if you think about it, oh, I heard up because, yeah, that makes sense. Now, think about it. If you see an absolute value, 
of, let's say, 2, and I change it to negative, doesn't it really not make any difference? Ah. Uh -huh. All right. But how about if I throw a negative on the outside of that, would it make a difference? Yes, it would, and therefore it also makes a difference on this. So let's go back to graphing, and we go insert a negative on the outside, insert a negative there, and I don't care if there's a negative on the inside still, because that didn't change anything anyway. And now it flipped. All right? So that makes sense. Math really does make sense. All the pieces kind of fit together if you, if you eventually understand all of it. The more you understand, the more you see how it all fits. Okay, so this one. These are just moves. <clears throat> it's been moved four to the left and down one, just like before. But what if I throw a negative on the outside? Flipped which way? Up, down, or left, right? Up, down. And then after you said up, down, you can think about it and say, which axis is that over? It's up, down. It's over the X. That's right. All right. Uh, this one's an up, down, flip. This one's an up, down, flip. This one's a what? Left, right, flip. How about this guy right here? Any flipping going on there? Nope, just right three. No flipping. Okay. Uh, and that's all we got. Um, now I have a... Uh, thank you, I'll stop recording. I have a worksheet and a homework quiz.